Welcome back to The Witcher 3 Blood and Wine. We are taking part in the tournament with our awesome and ridiculous gear here. So uh, let's do it, shall we? This is as it stands now. Everybody is in. We are on the board down there, Geralt. That's me. <laughs> and uh, I don't know with what we start, but we will find out. Oh. Oh, huh. thanks, I may pass. Oh, shooting. Okay. Okay, all the reds. I think. Geralt, well, Alfie, have you decided to turn knight errant? All dressed in your side here on a job. You in between the two? Am I? I shall square off against Ren Fan of Atre. I saw him just moments ago, a nervous wreck, stuffing his nose with fish steak, no less, as if that would aid his determination. Guessing that's against the rules. But who's to tell the Nithgardian what to do? Listen, Geralt, I have a tip for you. The timing of your marksmanship duel is such that you should have the sun in your eyes. Makes no difference to me either way. Or will it give you any pleasure? Since, as it is, we must both wait. Play me in a round of quaint. Should you win, I shall swap with you. To me, a southerner, the sun is no hindrance. Um, I don't want to swap. I think... I mean, we can play Quent. Let's see if we get a cool card from him. But, uh... I don't need to swap. Oh gosh, it's so long ago. I hope we have a good deck here. Let's just use it, shall we? I mean, it doesn't really matter, right? If we win or lose. Um, is that a cool spy? Uh, I yeah. Let's just. Oh, we play Nilfgaard. Wait, didn't we play monster deck all the time? Okay. We have two decoys, a Scorch, Vesemir, Fringilla, Letho, Tibor, an Archer, Heavy, um, Terry Canyon, Fire, and Geralt. We have ourselves. Let's change up one of these. Um, what do I do? Uh, enter. Ah. Yeah. We don't have a spy, don't do we? No. But we have a lot of specials. He plays Goyatel. Ooh. Okay, okay. Okay. What can you do? Um Oh cool. Have I ever played that Nilfgaard deck? Mm. Let's throw in him. He isn't worth much than the five that he is. Ooh. Nice. Um. The Scorch does hurt everybody, right? Not only the opponent. Um. Yeah, on the battlefield. So if I play my six, I cannot use it anymore. I could play one of these, or I could take back him. But I think that's too early. I throw Vesemir in, and I take him back if need be. Ooh. We don't have a good weather. So I think that would be where we take Vesemir back, actually. And then... Lose... Voluntarily. I think... As we don't have a spy... He might have a spy, though. But I think the Scoyeltail deck is not famous for its spies. Take a Biting Frost card from your deck. Ah, that's that one. No, she can still do it. 
Ooh. But it's fine. We don't have much. That was where the only cards, the only strong cards that go there because he's not affected, he's not affected, and the rest is ranged. So no problem. No problem whatsoever. So I think if I should take him back or if we... If I Scorch now... Yeah. Wait, that's a plan. If I take back Vesemir and then Scorch his cards... Or... Yeah. I'm doing it. Now he has five and I have seven. Let's see what he does if I do that. He passes with seven and five cards. So I could take it with... Oh, then now I need one more. I can play... Mm. I would need to play a good card here. Or... I could play that. No, he has only twos here. I want to have him in the next round. So either I play these two. I mean, he will freeze over in the next round too. Or I play one of these. I cannot get them back though. We have still one more card than him. I'm doing it. Don't know if that was smart, but I still can lose one more round, right? Okay, we do that again. Aw, playing Siri against me. That's not a nice move. <laughs> now we take... Uh, we take... Th they can be switched too. That's actually pretty good. We take the dwarf. Okay. That's fine. Don't mind that at all. Now we can play her in ranged, I think. And then we'll see what he'll do. So we can either adjust to close combat or ranged. Depending what he... What? What? That doesn't make much sense. <laughs> if you ask me. But hey, who asks me? Mm. Should we play him... Unranged. He has only two more cards. So I'm kind of safe here. I mean... Why did he play that there, not here? That doesn't make any sense. Whatsoever. Right? What's his last card? He can frost over. So maybe it's good weather. He passed. He's the worst Quint player ever. <laughs> He's really bad. Congratulate you. We shall swap as agreed. We passed the time rather nicely. Lady Vivian should appear forthwith. I'm off to face my first challenge. Good luck. Maybe he lost on purpose because he wants us to win the tournament? That would be weird. Fair nice! 
I salute you. The honor and duty of tourney patron have fallen to me this year. Fight honorably, so that I may bestow upon one of your number the tourney's grand prize. You have sworn your vows. You have ready body and soul. The time has come to test them. Let's do it. Oh, it's crossbow against bow. That's unfair. Behold Tom Akispark of the Mechthian Royal Line. His name's quite the mouthful, a true challenge to rhyme. His targets to be hit centrally and true are the ones in blue. Against him new blood, a knight unknown till now. Sir Geralt of Rivia, give us a bow. Nope. <laughs> Only a head nod. The targets he must <laughs> with his quarrels spread are red. May the better man okay, win. Okay, red. Oh, I cannot ready my crossbow yet. One. Oh gosh. Like a lover ghostly grasping but one fair teeth, girls half strewn with joyous victory and bitter defeat. What? The Geralt of Rivia has trounced his foe, pounded him soundly, immersed him in woe. <laughs> I did. <gasps> no way. Your prize, sir. A crossbow adorned with your crest. I congratulate you. Thank you, my lady. Oh, does it hum? Would you tell me about the other prizes? Alas, I cannot devote more time to you than to the other combatants. I have duties to attend to. Forgive me. My medallion's vibrating strongly. Can only mean one thing. Magic. The explanation is disappointing, I'm afraid. The fragrance I use, it's mixed by a sorceress. She to seems lose sad. To an opponent such as you is a victory of its own. Well, thank you. Accept my congratulations as well. Thanks. Good work. In the interim, I managed to determine which tent Lady Vivian occupies. Perhaps you could find a clue within it. You're right. Vivian's cursed in some way. Sensed it when she opened the tourney. In that case, we've no time to lose. Let us go. Mm, I need a minute. I Give want to look at that crossbow. To catch my and I want to look at our tent too. Um. Ooh! It's better than my or sign. Awesome. 13 to 70, yeah. And it has our crest on it where is it here <laughs> that's funny okay mm. where's the tent do we know that they said we have one it's not that They said near the arena. Is that it? We can loot something, but we read all yeah, we read all that already. So that's the tent of our friend. Up there no is, is that it? No. 
Yeah. He just has the same elements as us. Huh. Would be a shame if we, we wouldn't look at it, right? Is it one of these? No. Maybe right here. Nope. That's not it. Okay. Well, in that case, we talk to Guillaume. And we visit the tent of the lady. Or is that our tent? Did I look at that? Oh yes, I did. It's not. <laughs> Dang. What is that? Can we loot that? Yeah. Nice. Okay. Are you ready? May we go? Yes. Yeah, let's go now. This is her tent. You must look inside. Search it. I shall hoot like an owl should someone approach. Okay. Oh, that's the one tent we couldn't inspect when we have been here the first time. Uh-oh. Scratches. Oh, fair Vivian. Huh? Thou hast Duff's huh? eyes within thy locks. Thy lips are like a thread of <laughs> scarlet. Thy two breasts are like... Vivian's notes. Blade, fan expenses. 14 L's of cloth, 80 crowns. Shoes, made of dragon skin, 140 crowns. Racing saddle, 280 crowns. And magic cream, 1,400 crowns in total. Oriel Feather. Do the innkeeper bird as a pet? No sign of it here, if so. He has insults. Used to make compresses. Hmm. And there's a dress. She has a balcony. We take all her flowers. What a nice tent. Okay. Let's loot. Oh. Take her wine. Um. Should we look at the dress or first at the scratches here? Claw marks, that's clear. Not sure what beast left them, just that it's big. Uh oh. Bruxae mm -hmm. tend to be fond of birds. Oh no, is she a Bruxae too? Jar of concealing ointment. Powerful magic at work here. Oh no! Someone approaches, quickly! We're supposed to hoot. We shall speak later. We must return to the tourney now. It's it's time for the second contest. Sirs, what seek you in my lady's tent? Inspiration? Be gone from here. She saw us. Huh. Nothing of import. Okay, racing is next. Ugh. Oh wow. There are a lot. Behold, gallant knights and ladies decorous. Gaze at the host that trembles before us. Look upon chivalry's best and most storied. Come from far lands here to seek glory. Hear now their names as I shout them aloud. Savor their titles of their presence, be proud. Palmerin, the Baron of Longfall. Linus of Metina. Rainfarn of Atra. 
Tom Makaspak of Make. Vladimir of Choi. Guy de Boisfren in service to the Duchess. Delwyn of Craig Yow. Count Kai of Don Dao. And Fay of Lilia and Rivia, a prince. Geralt of Rivia. Yay! For Gregoire of Mount Gorgon, let out a roaring cheer. The faint power of silence, Tony Champion from last year. Today's winner of contests, his victory to secure, shall face a Gregoire in a challenge severe. He's big. Does ignorance demand a part in the seat? Does someone need telling how Tony's proceed? Uh. Yes, I do, <laughs> if you please. <laughs> The sands from the glass retire. Any chance you can say it normally? None at all. <clears throat> Ere the sands from the glass retire, and hearty toil your steeds does tire, neath all the gates you must guide your horse, and each shot by targets strike with bolts. Each dummy felt adds more sand to the glass, and each true shot bolt repeats the task. Yep. All clear now. How dare you enter a tourney for nobly born knights? Your knighthood came through the grace of my mother, me, Queen of Lyria and Riffia, whom you treacherously deserted mere days later. Your presence here is an offense to my honor. And yours is an offense to my eyes. If you're done, step aside, Prince. <laughs> the tourney's protector, the mate Vivian. Her beauty entrances both beasts and men. My heart's greetings, dear knight. May my grace guide you and show you the path of honor, valor, and glory. Accept my wishes of good fortune, sir, and devote all your strength to the tourney, and only it. The time has come for you, sir knight. Mount your steed. Swift be your flight. Ladies and gentlemen of lineage illustrious, soon steeds shall swarm like ants most industrious. To beat time's passage, they'll rise like the gale. What a sight to behold, what a lark, what a tale. Before us, Geralt, from Riffia come, fast as the wind, bright as the sun. Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay. Go. Come on. Okay. Okay. We do not know this track. Oh, there's one. <laughs> How? What can I do not now? Do I have to? Where? Oh. Dang. Do I have to hit all of them? So have I already lost? Am I missing one? I wonder. Oh, there's one. <gasps> Got it. Okay. <gasps> oh, goodness gracious. That I got. There's one. Uh huh. Come on. Uh, screaming. I got it. Oh gosh, where do I go? Um. There are goats in the way. Ah. Okay. Oh, that's somebody. Not a dummy. <laughs> I wanted to struck him down. Uh, 
don't know, up here? <gasps> There's another fork. Um... I think it really doesn't matter where I go, right? Got it. Through here. There's one. I get the hang of it. Nope, missed it. Come on, Roach. So close. Will he last? Enjoy and keep pace. Did we? Did we do it? A race of such style, such grace, such speed. To watch was a pleasure, a treat indeed. To honor our entrance, praise each fair night. We shall feast from eve till dawn's first light. The finest of wine and food shall be served. If you blood in your veins, come collect what's deserved. I congratulate you. Here, your price. A saddle adorned with your crest. Many thanks. By the way, my mate saw a man with white hair sneak out of my tent. Did you know who it might have been? No idea. How juvenile. <laughs> Congratulations on your win. In stellar style, no less. Ah. I no longer regret I was not able to participate. Almost. We must drink to this. Come with me to the feast. We shall await Vivian together. Lead the way. So, any thoughts on Vivian? Her beauty is striking. That is not what I ask. Still too early to say anything I'd be willing to stand behind. Managed to figure one thing out. She uses powerful magic, masking illusions. Do you mean to say she might in truth look different than she seems? Only guessing right now. Found some clues. Got me wondering if your beloved Vivian's not a Bruxa. A Bruxa? You mean a. a vampiress? Not sure yet. We've still some time before Vivian arrives. Let us drink. Hmm. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> Let's see where we end up this time. <laughs> Maybe we get a new tattoo? Ah, uh, when I first laid eyes on her, I finally understood what all those poems and ballads were trying to say. Love's not poetry alone. Sometimes it's prose. Sometimes it's just plain ugly. You say that only because you do not know Vivian as I do. A life with her would be sweetness itself. Actually, you don't know her all that well either. That's true. Oh no, this guy. Her presence at this tourney is an affront to my honor. I demand satisfaction. Head to the nearest brothel then. <laughs> Come back in the main arena. That's the My best friends. answer. Mm. Okay. Since you insist, I'm all yours. Just so that she shuts up. Regret deserting my mother's army once I've dealt with you. Did I? I don't remember. May the blood I will spill wash away the stain of your cowardice. Let's get this over with. In Quick. a mountain. Three. Two, one. Come on. I just established that I'm not good at that. Oh gosh. Uh. Okay, I think we have to get to the other side, right? <laughs> it's tilting. Okay. Here we go. Oh, dang. Ah, too early. Ah, my horse is scared, though. 
Where is it? There. For him. Got him. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> okay. Go to the other side. Got him. Poor guy. For reasons unknown except to them, the gods have chosen to punish me with defeat. But do not think your cowardice will be forgotten. It wasn't Damn the gods, it, it was me. Going on about that. Need to clear this up once and for all. Had to abandon your mother's camp back then because someone else needed my help. Badly. Couldn't refuse them. Didn't want to, in fact. <laughs> you mean to say you had a secret mission? Set off to accomplish it, having vowed to tell no one of its nature, until you did? Something like that, minus the vow. And, uh, I'd still rather not divulge the nature of my secret mission. Can you accept that as justification? In agreeing to Jewel, you proved yourself a true knight. Thus, I accept your word as that of a man of honor. Glad to hear it. Now I got work to do. Now we got to party. I hope we go back to the feast. That was a rude interruption. No, the feast is over. No, it's not. Whew. <laughs> uh oh, do we have to fight them all? No. My it's heart her. swelled to behold this beautiful celebration of valor and honor, and to witness you to embody the chivalric virtues in your lives, strive for greatness. Yet, after a time of combat must come a time of peace and respite. Thus, I invite all who fought in the tourney to this feast held in your, and none others, honor. And should any among you crave solitude, private tents await you nearby. The group melee shall take place on the morrow. Glory shall be within grasp for each and every one of you. The best among you shall have the honor to face our reigning champion, the famed Gregoire de Dourgon, victor of last year's tourney. Celebrate, make merry, revel as you will, yet be mindful of the trial that awaits you tomorrow. Follow her. We shall meet in your tent before your last contest. You must help her. Following a lady at night is creepy, though. Night, love, and I'd rather drink some more. Take all the olives. <laughs> Is there anything else we can accomplish here? We can talk to the innkeep. Welcome, welcome. Tell me what you'd like. Everything. Oh, she plays Gwent. Oh, we talked to her already. To right. <laughs> Forgot. Mm. Ah, we have to look at our saddle. 90. I don't know what Roach holds at the moment. Do we have something that we want to get rid of? Like water or something? We don't have water? That's awesome. Oh, I want to eat the croissant. So long. Okay. Let's go after Vivienne. Good tidings. We bring for you and your kin. Oh, Christmas. Mm. I wanted to look at the board if it actually changes during the tournament. Because if we now go to our 
Where was that? If you now go to our tent... <gasps> that is our tent! Oh! Oh, no way! We have a book here that we don't know. The noble Alondra is widely believed to be a mythical figure. Yet thanks to a painstaking analysis of the source materials, I have been able to establish beyond all doubt that the myth has roots in true events in which Alondra, a real woman of flesh and blood, took part. What then do we know about the noble Alondra? Dressed as a man and calling herself by a false name, she served as a squire. Just before being dubbed a knight, she revealed her true identity and was forced into exile. She lived in the desert and, as the mysterious heron knight, defended pilgrims. She fought at the Battle of Cervantes Pass, where she was badly wounded and taken to the field hospital, where she was recognized. We know the duke, moved by her courage, dubbed her a knight and she then became the heroine of many tales which describe righteousness of her character and generosity of her spirit. Alondra's disappearance remains shrouded in mystery. The most popular legend claims the knight was summoned by the Lady of the Lake and journeyed to the bottom of the lake to see her, where she remains to this day as the guardian of that subterranean domain. What a story. Ah. I have an invitation too. Okay, cool. Now, where's the board? It's at the the arena is it here i think so no that's the wrong side oh gosh i think it's the hmm <laughs> dang i don't know no it's here it's here it's here isn't it there Yeah. No. Is it updated? Uh. Palmerin and me have two points. The other's one. Do I read that properly? I mean, we won twice. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Clonk, 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 clonk. They say a great deal about you. Can we actually put that saddle? Although I really like that that set here. That Ophiri set, but uh, during the tournament, at least we should use that. There's a path here. It's quiet. Can we just walk in? I mean that what's you that's what you thought before oh that bird is her maybe flew off worth going after looks like the bird's leading me somewhere Oh gosh. Roach, I need you. Ah, that's the new saddle. It's not bad. There it is. Slow now. Whoa.
Where do we go? Across? Oh, here. Here, here, here. There's something up there, too. Oh, I fell into the stream. Oh, it's a dog. Time to end this. No, no, I don't have time. Did, are these panthers? These are panthers. Crazy stuff. No, I have to follow a bird. I'm busy. Where's the bird? Is that... Yeah, that's the bird, not the panther. Hey there. Was that a trap? A bird trap? For, for the panthers to eat me? Oh gosh. I need to go up there. Huh. I need to look at my surroundings. Come on. The bird flew off over the hill. Might be quicker to pass through the cave. But we don't know where it'll go exactly. Plant moss. Oh no, there will be something in there. I hear it already. A white. What do you do? Uh. Uh. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, why? Um. I think. Yeah, let's try the Igni. Does it burn? It burns. It makes me drunken. Come on. Uh, let's clean up. And maybe art would help a bit better here. I mean, this thing is dead. The dog is the problem, right? Oh, they go together. Interesting. What is that? <gasps> Copper ore. We have time. Ah, there's nothing. Some mushrooms and more copper ore. Silver. I take it. Now the bird is gone. Still here. I don't really see where I'm going. Oh, I hear something. That can't be good. Let's get a Quen ready. 
or not. Witcher. Lady Vivian? She's beautiful. Counted on me getting lost. I did. I thought you no different from the knights. Good at foreignings, hopeless in the face of true danger. I was mistaken. So you're not actually a Bruxa. A what? Suspicion I had that you might be a vampire. Certain details seemed to confirm it. Then I changed my mind. Anyway, unimportant. Here you come to this clearing often. This is where it all began. And as I was not able to evade you, save myself from you, then I wanted them here. In this very spot, with no witnesses. Want what done? While you are a witcher, you were hired to kill me, were you not? Then do so, now. And do it quickly, I beg you. I shan't resist. Witchers only hunt monsters, and even then, not all. You're no monster. Then what am I to your eyes? A bird! Uh... Is it a curse, though? Um... Why should I guess when you could tell me yourself? If you've no contract on my life, why take an interest at all? Did Guillaume put you up to it? Is that why? He wanted to help you. Asked me to do him a favor. Frankly, if I can do something for you, I'll do it, willingly. Why should I trust you? Because the Duchess trusts me? Because I'm a freak, too? Because cases like yours are my bread and butter. Take your pick. You shall not turn on me. Use what I say against me. You shall not tell anyone. No. You got nothing to fear. Came here to help you. And I won't keep a word to anyone unless I decide it's absolutely necessary. Ah, uh, so be it. I shall tell you what my mama once told me. When she was with child, expecting me, she and my father spent much time together near the wood, here in this clearing. Mama loved to listen to the Oriole sing. She would stroke her belly and say, my daughter should be as beautiful as that bird. Such is my wish. But a creature dwelt in the wood who envied my parents their happiness. One day it appeared before them to say the whole wood belonged to it. And they had dared to delight in something that was not theirs. It demanded payment. And when my parents said that they had nothing, he claimed their unborn daughter as its own. Parents ever describe the creature? They called it a nymph born of the deep woods, with no mother or father. But I was too young, too distraught by the curse's onset to ask after details. If I could turn into a bird and fly away, I wouldn't see that as a curse. That is awesome. <laughs> what happened after that? Nothing at first. I came into the world a perfectly normal child, and my parents forgot that day's events. But 15 summers into my life, the curse began to show. Initially only when the moon was full. But now it's advanced so that even in daytime I must use magic ointment to mask its symptoms, to look normal. Thus I thought someone had discovered my secret and hired you to kill me. In fact, I was resigned to death in coming here. Perhaps death would be preferable to my complete and permanent transformation. For I fear that is what lies in store. So she cannot turn into a bird at will. Okay, then I understand. That's maybe not that cool. 
like slowly turning into a bird. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it is. <laughs> Ointment you use includes a potent magic ingredient. You don't have the immunity mages have. Use heavy doses or normal doses too long, and it could be dangerous to you. I sensed this. The very reason I knew I would have to give it up in the end and bid my human form a final farewell. The curse. It could be reversible. Once ran into a baron, transformed into a cormorant, ostensibly for good. Managed to cure him completely. And you truly think you could do something like this for me? Can't guarantee a thing. Tough case, yours. You were cursed before birth. That alone complicates things. Also, you claim the curse is increasing its hold. Symptoms are progressing. Could try transferring the curse onto someone else. What? Out of the question. I shall not allow it to ruin an innocent's life. Is this the only method you know? Only one that's completely safe. So there is another. Hmm. I mean, let's not delve into that, or shall we? It doesn't matter because that ends the conversation, not that. Pretty quick to reject help. Why is that? The curse once transferred would probably have a weaker hold on a new host. Lots weaker. I do not even wish to hear of it. Okay. All right, there is another. Ancient ritual. We eat an Oreo egg. Should release the curse's grip permanently. Gotta warn you, though. Could have serious consequences. Consequences? What kind? Curse was cast before you came into this world. Ritual involved transferring it to an as yet unhatched chick. You'd be free. Thing is, you could be left with the average lifespan of an Oreo. Seven years. I understand. Alas, every rose has its thorn, and there are no happy endings. But truth be told, I never thought I would get one. I came here prepared to die, yet you wish to give me seven years of life. Real life, free life. This is no dilemma. I agree wholeheartedly. I see why. I understand. Don't have to decide just yet. Think it through. I will. They must miss me at the tawny grounds by now. Shall we return? I mean, how old might she be? Like 20? And if she now turns slowly into a bird and then lives from there on seven years as a bird, it's not bad either. <laughs> I mean, it depends if the bird has a mind and she can at will turn into an actual bird, right? I mean, she did that. Or wasn't she the one we were followed? Maybe she can command other Orioles that led the bird, that led us here to her. Hmm. No, it was her. We followed her. So, all in all, that's pretty cool. I wouldn't be so sad about that. <laughs> I mean, maybe I would. I don't know. I'm not in her position. Um, uh, shall we? I think I'll say, what that, does that mean? I think if I'll stay, I can go back by foot by myself. And if I say let's, we get teleported back, right? I think I'll stay here a little longer. As you wish. Then I shall see you on the morrow. She's cool, half bird. I like it. I wanted to check out if there's something cool here. Apart from half human, half birds. And she did send the panthers. We just refused to fight them. <clears throat> Where are we, map wise? Up here. And that's the cave, but we can go around. Claire Palace. Where? 
Where's it? Oh, oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, that's quite a bit of map that we traversed. Roach? Oh, there, in the high cross. Let's look at that saddle. Yeah, yeah, nice. Give you up. What a story. <laughs> it's just a bridge. Roach is scared of bridges. <laughs> yeah, she is. I really never realized that we have a slow motion while riding. That's... Oh, get out! Oh gosh. Ah! Uh. Oh. It takes half my health! What a bore. Come on! are the tourney crowns. Yeah. Man. I think if he asks us, we don't tell him if we have the chance. Need to find my tent. Should look around for the one with my crest. Blue, gray, jello, black field. Because that would be mean. On the white one. On an empty stomach. Who's screaming? There he is. Huh, nice. Did you learn anything? Yeah. Don't tell him. Speak, man. Can you not see I'm out of my mind with worry? What ails her? She asked me not to talk about it. But I want only the best for her. Perhaps I should be able to help or, I don't know, console her at the least. Yeah, I promised. Vivian gave me the details of her situation, but she did so in confidence. Promised I wouldn't tell anyone. But I'm not just anyone. Why, I would do anything for her. I was the one to ask you to help her. You cannot chuck me out now. I'm sorry. Look, in time Vivian will come to understand what she owes you. I'm sure of it. But until then, you gotta understand the whole world doesn't revolve around you. How dare exactly. you lecture me? Yeah. This is not the aid I sought. And to think I gave up my spot in the tourney to you. I regret it now. Too late. Do you even intend to compete to the end? Or now that you've bound Vivian to your terms, you no longer see the need? I will. I want that sword. I don't back out of anything. I'll take part in the last skirmish. Besides... Vivian will be busy till the tourney's end. Indeed. In that case, you must meet the other knights of your team. They await near the arena's entrance by the training ground. Got it. Thanks. If he really likes her, he shouldn't be jealous. And he should just be happy that we actually help her. I know now the two team's rosters. I shall be captain of ours. That means you shall do as I say for the duration of the fight. Is this clear? Palmer and Alonfo will lead the opposing group. With this skirmish, we commemorate the Battle of Fox Hollow of 1218, when a hands of southern outlaws led by Haller the Brown attacked Tucson only to be driven off by brave knights, thus setting a precedent. Since that day, knights errant have guarded the Duchy's border. Palmerin drew the short straw, so his team shall play the Barbarian Halfsman. 
Any questions? None. I doubt you will do us any good. You know nothing of knightly combat as a witcher. Try at least to stay out of our way. It is time, gentlemen. Take your weapons and proceed to the arena. I defeated you with my unknightly skills. <laughs> A cheer for the knights, the ladies, the lords. For our next entertainment, the team shall cross swords. Two rifle crews, two coteries shall fight full tilt till one's dropped to its knees. Who virtue ignores or lance blows unclean shall forever be branded as shameful obscene. While the knights prepare, let me say I'm elated to behold such a crowd on edge, breath baited. Whoever here wins the past champion shall face. All others must leave, heads bowed in disgrace. Okay. Let us Defeat begin. the opposing team. Crowd, and we have scores. Blood, okay. Sweat and tears shall soon follow in buckets. Here we go. Come, Ooh, they are tough there. Oh man, can we heal up? I think he's poisoned. He is. Oh dang. Somebody's already down from my team. Okay. Ooh, that's Pelmarin. Oh, are you with me or against me? Against me, okay. Ooh. No, 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 get out. Get out, get out. <gasps> Wait, what? I have to fight them all? What a loser team. <laughs> okay. One at a time. Okay. I want the guy with the spear. <laughs> There's the guy with the spear. Yep, he's down. Okay. Three more to go. No, no, no. No. <laughs> Okay. You shall perish, evil tour. No, oh my, that must have been painful. <laughs> like a thorn to the heart, only more painful. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Oh gosh, I don't see anything. Ah, we healed. Okay. He's poisoned. Good. That's mean though. But hey. We take whatever we can. Uh, and no, I'm not fighting with signs. That would be unfair. Oh, get out! 
He's down. He's down. We did it. Last man standing. For showing such birth, each knight was victorious. Yet in Tornis, as in life, but one champion may reign. Today, he is the one. Praised be his name. He felt a whole host slew the most. To Geralt of Rithia, who the strength of lions boasts. He sailed through all trials. Each test he passed with ease. But now awaits the last. Will it bring him to his knees? For Gregoire de Gorgon, who on this ground last won, shall spar him for the title, and the day is done. To the tired remainder, we salute your endeavors. Return to your wives, your loved, your whomever. <laughs> well said. Now we have to fight the big boy, though. Birdie is here. Uh oh. It is time. Step into the arena. Should you suffer Kratos harm during combat, have you any last wishes, any missives you wish passed to your loved ones? I don't have loved ones. Thanks, I'm fine. The Witcher of Rithia, Geralt his name, though age be his visage, do not disdain. His locks true are white. But he was born to fight. Now entering the grounds, a titan of infamy, Gregoire de Gorgon, victor of last is Tony. I hope we get a poison in. The poison is I from a rune stone on my sword. And, and I think I also have stun and armor pierce. Oh, it's a boss fight. Oh, dang. Oh. Oh, it's nearly a one hit. A two hit. Okay. We are too far out if we do that. Need a bit of a healing. Yeah, that's the, the problem with the rolls is uh, that I'm too far off, but he has some reach here. I know I should try blocking, but I'm not sure if all his attacks are blockable. Gosh. That wasn't too bad. This year's champion, a sight to behold. He defeated Gregoire de Gorgon. Hail Geralt, Herald. <laughs> the echo. <laughs> oh. A patron of this grand tourney, <coughs> I have the honor to decorate our grand champion. His vow he made upon the garter of her illustrious highness, Anna Henrietta. <laughs> Doubtless the Duchess's grace carried him to this splendid victory. He showed great courage, great strength, great composure. He fought nobly with honor and thus rightfully deserves the title of this year's champion of the arena. I need to talk to you. Not now. We shall meet later in the evening. I have duties to attend to, as do you. 
not what drives you. The least you should do is obey. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I love it. my lady have you decided i have i stand by all i have said i wish to endanger no one and thus choose the method involving an egg if it's to be the egg of an oriole i know where to find one there is a nest in my clearing might you explain the nature of the ritual its exact course sure but seems your tent's grown years show yourself guillaume and hear you breathing, and I know damn well it's you. Why are you here, sir? This is a private audience. Geralt, what is the meaning of this? Is this some scheme you've hatched unbeknownst to me? No, I haven't hatched a thing. Maybe that egg later on, but uh, I don't know about that. I mean, yes, he does mean well, but I don't know if that helps. No, no scheming involved. Guillaume hired me, but this matter relates to you, not him. Didn't invite him here in any case. Actually surprised he showed up. My lady, I live to serve you. Whatsoever you require, you need but beckon. I'm yours to command. Are you quite finished? Come on, too much. Is that all you wish to say? I, I... I suppose so. So you should do what I command, sir. Very well, then. Listen carefully. Leave this tent. Turn towards the Duchy's northern marches. And run. Run until the tawny grounds are no longer within sight. Return only once you've pulled off. Then leave me be forevermore. Understood? My lady, but your your troubles. I, I only wish the the Witcher see out now. You assured me I could trust you. You can. I kept your secret. Didn't tell him anything he didn't already know. I understand he hired you, so you had to report to him. But this is not his affair, Geralt. This is my life. I know. Absolutely sure you did the right thing? Not too hasty rejecting his help? Can't conduct the ritual using your reflection without him. Needed someone who'd willingly assume the curse in your stead. And you thought I would agree to this? No, Geralt. When we spoke in the meadow, you told me of a ritual which required no lusty knights to aid us. This is the method I wish to pursue. Okay. Let's do it. Need to find an egg. Preferably an Oriole's. Ritual itself isn't complicated, but like I said before, there'll be a side effect. Still sure you want to go through with it? Yes. I saw a nest in the clearing where we spoke. But before we go, tell me, what will become of the chick? Will it be half human? The egg. Like you said, not everyone gets a happy ending. And for a dream to come true, there must be sacrifices. Very well. Let us go. I thought the chick would maybe then slowly turn into a human with legs and such. <gasps> there was a bird outside. An Oriole. Hmm. Maybe the nymph? Who cast the curse in the first place? This 
is the case. I can see the bird here. Stand back. I'll take care of this. Oh. Where did the panther go? Dang. Oh. You do eat already. Let me get my signs up. It's so fast. Huh. Huh. Dang. <laughs> Maybe I should uh, cast an urn or something to slow it down. But I don't have enough step. <laughs> it's just flying over my head. Oh, is it dead? Eggs fell on a moss patch. Oof. They're fine except for one. It's cracked. Will it do? Think so. Now, what must I do? I think she does want to. You need to concentrate now. Repeat after me. Una gandrao, una finerat. Una gandrao, una finerat. Una gandrao, una finerat. Damn it. Geralt, look, look. I shall be able to attend balls. I shall travel to Oxenfurt, to Novigrad even. Thank you, Witcher. Other than Guillaume, he's the one hired me to help you. Yes, I'm grateful to him as well immensely. Will you tell him so for me? Hmm. I mean... She's not interested in him, and that's okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Should tell him yourself, don't you think? Perhaps I should, but I would prefer not to. Convey my gratitude to him in my stead. Please, be so kind. I understand. Sure. Sure, I'll tell him. Farewell, Vivian. Huh. And that's it. Dang, the beast here. The beasts here are strong. There's his meat. You did wait. That's awesome. Hey, uh. Is Guillaume still in the tourney grounds? I think so, right? Slower. The gardens. <laughs> Let's have a look. If we can take a shortcut. Yeah. Yes. I won't go to the palace to fast travel. It's quite quick to ride there. 
Roach, get down there. You are not a goat. Oh, damn. Come on. <laughs> no, Roach is not a goat. <laughs> I should stay on the road. Uh. Come on. What's wrong? Run, Roach. It's okay. Or not. Move it. Run, Roach. Mm, the boar is back. <laughs> the boar doesn't like uh, bridges either. And we have to look if that sword is any good. Where is this Guillaume? Oh, and let's look at the board. If the winner has been announced officially. One, two, three, four victories. Harmin 2, Tess 2, Anseis 2, Donomir 2, Rain Farn 2, Home guy Linus Delvin one. Losers. <laughs> uh, my team was really a loser team, wasn't it? They died before they even could slay one foe. Let's look at that sword. Oh, dang. It's not as good as my Witcher swords, and that makes sense actually. I like that. Armor piercing, critically hit damage, and critically hit chance, and three slots. It's level 40 though. Shall we see how it looks? Ugh. <laughs> yeah, it's okay, but uh, the Witcher gear is always the best. Uh, speaking of, here you go. Ha! <sighs> That feels good. Oh gosh. He won't be happy. Let's take the food. Geralt, what of Vivian? Managed to lift her curse. Truly? So all will be well. Her troubles are done? Hmm. I think she's happy. Asked me to give you a message. Said she's grateful. Thanks to you, she can live a normal life. Good, good. But how does she fare? Vivian chose what suited her best. She's completely free now. And happy, I think. Without me. You helped her. But that doesn't mean she owes you her love. Exactly. Got this bard friend, philosopher too, I guess, amateur. He'd say, if you love somebody, set them free. You know what, Geralt? You earned your reward, so take it. But keep your advice to yourself. Adieu. Yeah, for him it was all about himself. And that's the problem. If he would care about her, he would let her go. And he wouldn't be such a stalker either. Creep. Okay. Cool. Well, that was something. <laughs> and uh, it'll be a long episode, but I didn't want to cut that uh, quest. It was so cool. I loved it. And that is just a simple side quest. This is amazing. I love that. But uh, yeah, we'll see in the next episode. I think we'll do the next little side quest. <laughs> uh, that one. No, that's the bank. Wine Wars. Oh, we can talk about him now. So we should do that, actually. 
Oh, here is one. That's the one that we wanted to go to. But yeah, we can go to the bank and collect our money. If it's that easy, most probably that too takes hours. <laughs> but hey, we'll see, we'll see in the next episode. So thank you so, so much for watching this one. Have a wonderful and adventurous day and oops, goodbye.